postpartum hemorrhage refers to the bleeding which occurs after delivery. It can be defined as the loss of more than 500 milliliters after vaginal delivery or 1000 ml after cesarean delivery up to 6 weeks postpartum. Postpartum hemorrhage occurs in about 6% of the deliveries and is classified into two types. We have primary postpartum hemorrhage which occurs from birth up to 24 hours after delivery and secondary PPH which occurs from 24 hours up to 6 weeks. What are the causes of primary postpartum hemorrhage? We have 40s in mastering these causes whereby the first T refers to uterine atony and accounts for 75%, thrombin which refers to coagulation disorders, tissues whereby there's blood clots and retained placenta, yeah. and tears including cervical or perineal tears and ruptured uterus. The causes of secondary postpartum hemorrhage include infections and retained placenta. Predisposing factors which led to poor uterine contractions include past history of atony with postpartum hemorrhage, retained placenta, large placental site, use of haloethane anesthesia, overdistended uterus which occurs in cases of polyadramnus and multiple pregnancies, and uterine malformations, together with prolonged labor and poor second stage contractions. Also trauma to the uterus can lead to uterine atony. Multiparity is another factor. How can we prevent postpartum hemorrhage? We can prevent PPH from preconception stage whereby you ensure there is optimum and good nutritional support to the mother, treatment of anemia, and in antenatal period, you ensure hemoglobin testing to determine its levels during the focused antenatal care visits and grouping and close merging of blood, treatment of anemia also can occur at this stage, and deworming of the mother. During the intrapartum period, you have to monitor the progress of labor using a pathograph, active management of third stage of labor, and use of uterotonic drugs such as oxytocin and egometrin. Then misoprostol 600 to 800 micrograms can be used if oxytocin is unsuccessful. This drug can be given per rectory with or without oxytocin. Then assess for early identifiable uterine atony and insert a UBT. The management of PPH after it has occurred, you'll call for help. Check the vital signs of the patient and paleness. Massage the uterus to enhance contraction then administer oxytocin 10 international units intramuscularly and start immediate resuscitation measures. Give intravenous fluids 1 liter in 15 minutes using a large book cannula and take blood samples for grouping and cross matching in case the patient may require blood transfusions. Insert a urethral catheter to monitor urinary output and give high flow oxygen when necessary. Keep the matter warm and identify the cause of bleeding and treat accordingly. During identifying the cause of breeding, you assess if the placenta has been delivered and if not, then you have to explore the uterus. Check for any tears and repair accordingly. If the placenta is complete, then place the patient in a lithotomy position and check for and repair any trauma. Emergency management of postpartum hemorrhage includes intravenous fluids and laboratory testing for grouping and cross matching and also studying about the coagulation studies and treatment using uterotonics, UBT insertion, and transfusion if needed. Okay, thank you and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell button to be notified once we upload. Let's meet on our next lecture.